Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this cool motion trail effect in DaVinci Resolve for free and I will also show you how you can sell this effect. Let's get started. So here I'm in DaVinci Resolve. This is my uh, clip over here. It's in 25 frames per second. The initial clip was shot in 60 frames per second and it was converted in a 25 frames per second. So my timeline now is 25 frames per second. And now you can see why it's a very nice shot. It's a very nice slow motion. And in order to sell this effect, I want to create a speed ramping. So the lady moves slowly like this in slow motion and then goes super fast. And when it goes super fast, I want to add the motion trails. For this, I'm gonna go and press on the right click of the mouse and go to retime controls or press command R on a Mac or control R on a Windows. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and add a few speed points. I'm gonna add speed point there, one speed point here. I'm gonna add four speed points actually, and you will see why. I'm gonna add another speed point just over here. Perfect. So let me quickly explain you how the speed point works. So you see the knob on the top adjusts the speed to the left okay if you move it to the left it goes faster if you move it to the right it goes slower okay i'm gonna put it back to 100 okay here this knob what it does is actually show you where you want your uh, speeding to start or stop so if you want this portion to be speeded up or slowed down you just move it okay it doesn't affect the speeding it only shows the portion of the clip you want to speed up or slow down okay so as I said I want this clip to be a hundred I'm gonna go change speed I'm gonna put it to a hundred so here because I want it to start slowly and then move super fast I'm gonna go and do this and make it super fast i'm gonna go and move this to the portion there i'm gonna move this there and now i want this portion to be at a hundred percent so it's gonna go like this fast slow okay and then super fast again so in this portion over here i want my motion trail to be and again the fastest point is here I want the motion trails to be here. So I've got two portions where I want my motion trail to be there, okay? You will understand, you will see how it works. Boom, boom, okay? Let me just make it so it goes a bit more. So slow motion. This one sort of goes slow. Then I'm gonna go and grab a bit more space, make it even faster. Let's have a look. Nice, okay, and here, Beautiful. Okay, right. So I'm done with my speed ramping. Now I'm going to go and look for my motion trail effect. For this, what you're going to do, you're going to go to effects over here. If it's not toggled on, go and toggle effects on and you're going to see all the effects will appear here. Now I want to go to open effects, click on open effects and go to search and just write down trails. Okay. And you will see the motion trails effect appears here. I'm going to go and drag it on my clip. Boom, done. So, as you can see, now the trail effect is on my entire clip. If you're happy with this, you can play it and you're done. But I think it looks much better and more professional when you've got your effect sort of like starting. So I'm gonna start with no effect. I'm gonna start here and add my effect. For this, we need to go and keyframe it, okay? So let me show you how it's done. So you go on this point over here where my where my speed point is. I'm gonna go and keyframe it. I'm gonna go and keyframe only my trail length because the drop off is sort of fine. So you can see how much you want. You want less drop off or you want more? I think somewhere in the middle is actually, is actually better. But you know, again, it depends how you want to do it. Uh, I'm not gonna touch the drop off. I'm gonna keyframe only that trail length okay so uh let's get started so i want my motion trails at this point to be zero so i'm going to go and put it all the way to zero okay so at this point here i want my trail length to be zero and then i'm gonna go and move my playhead okay a few frames one two three four five six Let's say six frames 
And at this point, I want my effect to go, let's say seven is fine. And then I'm gonna go and move my playhead a little bit and then add another speed point. And then now, why I added a speed point? Because I want now to end the motion trail effect. So it actually goes back to normal. Okay, so I've added another keyframe. And when I move my playhead to the end of my second uh, speed point, I want the trail length to be zero again. Okay, and look at this again to normal and now we're gonna do the same here but now i'm gonna exaggerate with the second part okay so at this point i want my trail length to be zero i'm gonna go and add a speed point okay speed point now it's zero i'm gonna go and move my playhead or just um tap on my keyboard one two three four five six and i'm gonna go and drag it all the way to i don't know Let's do 10, why not? Just for the sake of this tutorial, even if it's just a little bit too much. And now I'm gonna go and drag my playhead all the way to almost the end of the fourth speed point. I'm gonna add another key point, and this key point is for the ending of my effect. I'm gonna go and move my playhead again to the end, and when I get to the end, I'll drag the trail length back to zero. Let's have a look. And that's it, friends. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting and useful and you got some value out of it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.